Hello, my name is RG and we are going to solve problem 44 from Hate's book in the chapter 4. So the question is determine values for three mass currents of figure 4.71. So in I1 and I3, we cannot do it directly. Why? Because we have this current source. So we do not know the voltage here the voltage between this and this and there is no way that we know that directly okay but then we can do with usual kvl at loop i2 so probably let's just start with that loop 2 first kvl at loop 2 okay kvl said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero Okay, now let's start from this 7 ohm. So I'll have 7. But that needs to be multiplied by I2. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus I. And then this 1 ohm. So I'll have plus 1 multiplied by I2. So just plus I2. And then plus this 3 ohm resistor. So I'll have 3. And we need to multiply it by I2. But... Here, I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So, minus I3. That will equal to 0. Okay, now I will have 7 plus 1. That will be 8. 8 plus 3. That will be 11. So, for I2, I have 11 I2. For minus I1, I will have minus 7 I1. And then, I will have minus 3 all of that will equal to zero and i think there is no more that we can do from here just save it as equation number one but now we need to take care of this i1 and i3 so let's make a super loop here so we'll have super loop that cover all of this this light blue here let's name it as super so now let's do KVL at the super loop. And same KVL applied that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. Okay. Now this one will be minus one because the current flowing from negative to positive. So we'll have minus one. And then we jump to this component here. That will be one plus one. But we do not multiply it by the current of the super loop, but this individual current here. So 1 multiplied by I2. So I still have I2 from here. And then plus this component here, that will be 2. The only current that passes through it is I3 here. So I'll have I3. And that is all the components. So let's save it as equation number 2, but with some little manipulation. So I'll have I2 plus 2I3 is equal to 1. And that will be 2. Equation number 2. And I think that we need one more equation because we have three variables, but only two equations. So let's do KCL here. Let's see, this is not A, and this is I3, right? So I will have I3 going there. I'll have I3. But I1 here is going there. So I'll have I1. But now, let's take care of this. This is 2 ampere current source. So the current that pass through here will be 2. And we can apply KCL to the not A. KCL and Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, the sum of the currents that goes in will be I3. So let's write I3. And that will equal to this current here, that will be I1. And this current here, that will be 2. I mean, plus 2, not equal to. 2 and so from here I will have minus I1 plus I3 
is equal to 2. Let's save this. Here as equation number 3. So now we have 3 equations and 3 variables. And that is an equation that we should be able to solve. Now let's plug it into a 3x3 three three matrix. So I will have minus 7, 11, and minus 3. Then I1 here is 0. And I will have 1 and 2. From here I will have minus 1, 0, So here I will have I1, I2, and I3. And the factor of the result will be 0, 1, and 2. Okay, 0, 1, and 2. Let's number that. Now let's plug it into calculator with equation solver mode. We need three variables, so number 2. I will have minus 7 and then 11, and then minus 3, and then 0. And then I will have 0, and then 1, and then 2, and then that will be 1. Then I will have minus 1, and then 0, and then 1, and that will be 2. And so I will have I1 here is minus 1.219. Okay. Minus 1, That will be I1. And I2 is I2. I2 will be... Okay, I will have minus 563. Minus 0... 5, 6, 3. And then I3 here will be that's it, 0 0.781. 0 0.781. Okay, and all the units here is ampere. Ampere. Probably we can convert it to milliampere to become a nicer number. So I have this one and this one. And also this one. And let's highlight the final answer. This is I1, I2, I3. And this is all the values. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Let me know if I did. And bye bye and see you in the next video. Thank you.